Welcome to this short service for the Thursday of Holy Week. The coronavirus pandemic is causing huge unjust suffering and danger across our world, and this Holy Week speaks very strongly of unjust suffering and danger. My name is Henry Corbett, a vicar at St John Chrysostom and St Peter's Churches in Everton, and warden of Shrewsbury House Youth and Community Centre in Everton, and my wife Jane is a Liverpool City Councillor for the Everton Ward. We live in the centre and I'm being filmed in our church lounge at St Peter's as we often have our Maundy Thursday service here, imagining it's a bit like the upper room in Jerusalem where Jesus celebrated the Last Supper with his disciples. And in, in this service we will be telling the story of what happened that evening with the help of a gospel reading and also a short film clip. But first, a song that speaks to our present concerns and fears. This song speaks honestly about troubles and fears, but speaks also of God's love, like a mother's love that will always love us through good times and tough times. When troubles strikes and fear takes root and dreams are dry and sense unsound. From Palm Sunday, when Jesus went into the temple in Jerusalem and challenged the temple authorities for their exploitation and especially for their excluding of people, Jesus was a man under a death sentence. He knew that, in fact he had known that for a long while, that he would be put to death in Jerusalem. He wanted a final meal with his disciples, his followers, a last supper. Before the meal, he washed the disciples' feet, which was the role of a servant, and it's called Maundy Thursday from the Latin mandatum, which means command, because he gave the disciples the command, love one another as I have loved you. And then he did something very dramatic. And we're going to hear the gospel reading from Luke chapter 22, and then see a brief two minute clip from the animated film, The Miracle Maker. And I love in that clip, the expression on the disciples' faces as Jesus does a very dramatic action. First the reading, and then the film clip. Today's reading is Luke 22, 14 to 20, from the message. When it was time, he sat down with all of, his, all of the apostles with him and said, You have no idea how much I have looked forward to eating this Passover meal with you before I enter my time of suffering. It is the last one I'll eat until we all eat together in the kingdom of God. Taking the cup, he blessed it, then said, this is, pass this among you. As for me, I will not drink this wine again until the kingdom of God arrives. Taking the, taking the bread, he blessed it and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Eat it, eat it in my memory. He did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant written in my blood. 
blood poured out for you. This is the word of the Lord. What's Jesus doing? He's thanking God for the bread. He lifts it so high. He always does that. It's his way. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, who brings forth bread from the earth. Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Your body? Do this in memory of me. Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood. My blood, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. This is the last time I will ever drink wine with you. Master. Until I drink the new wine with you in the kingdom of my Father in heaven. In heaven. This is my body broken for you. Jesus saying that his death, his body broken on the cross, was going to be for the sins of the whole world, so that forgiveness could be on offer to the whole world, no wonder his disciples were amazed. It's a huge claim, and our Good Friday and Easter Sunday services will speak more of that. And at that Last Supper, he also teaches about the road ahead, including saying, in this world you will have tribulation, you will have trouble, as well as assuring them of his peace and of his Spirit's help for them. Then on that Thursday evening, they leave the upper room, and go to the Garden of Gethsemane outside the city wall and across towards the Mount of Olives. And you can go there today uh, in Jerusalem and visit uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. And there he prays, knowing that the death ahead of him is going to be excruciating and agony. And Luke writes in his Gospel of Jesus' sweat being like drops of blood falling to the ground as he prayed. This is a Jesus who knows about anguish and about suffering. And then Jesus is arrested. It's a dark evening and Judas comes uh, with a group of soldiers. Judas marks him out with a kiss and Jesus still calls Judas friend. And then the evening of Maundy Thursday ends with Jesus being spat at, being struck and being accused by the religious leaders. So at a time of unfair suffering for our world, we see a Jesus also suffering unfairly, a victim in so many ways but as Good Friday and Easter Sunday will show us, also a victor, a winner in the end, and even in the midst of his suffering, a winner. So now to our prayers, and then a final song from Jane. First, a prayer for all of us across the world caught up in this coronavirus crisis. Loving God, we pray for ourselves and our world at this time of crisis. We pray for all of frontline health and care and key workers, for strength and wisdom and care. We pray for the medical experts working for vaccines, for skill and perseverance. We pray for those suffering and bereaved, for comfort and hope. We pray for our politicians, advisers and world leaders, for the right decision for the good of all. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now a prayer for us to follow Jesus' example of compassion and service. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us that what we do for our sisters and brothers, we do for you. Give us the will to be the loving servant of others, as you were the servant of your disciples at the Last Supper, washing their feet and teaching them about their journey ahead. May we know your love and your hope in these difficult, dangerous times. We ask this in your name. Amen. This hymn speaks of Jesus as the servant king, and the second verse speaks of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. From heaven you came, helpless babe, entered our world. Yeah. 
Traditionally, there's no blessing at the end of a Maundy Thursday service uh, as the action moves on to Good Friday and Easter Sunday, but there will certainly be a blessing at the end of our Good Friday service and at the end of our Easter Sunday service.